Hello, my dear. Happy welcome to this global meeting specifically designed to attract the biggest love in your life. You know, the scientists find out the human being could use just 5% of their potential because another 95 is there from God. And this is also about God. Seems like that till now there wasn't absolute uh, and true love in every human being's life. But now as we live in Messiah and God and time, we are he that we, they, they build already heavenly kingdom. Just 12 year already is done. And uh, just remain for all 18 plus people on the earth to inherit heavenly kingdom, their life and their family, community, country, the world. And uh, by this, as we are uniting daily by Messiah's and coming call every evening to pray for peace and mobilize heavenly world to attract 95% and new concrete um, life, new concrete family, uh, community, country, and the world. And there were so many miracles in our meetings and we really want you to grow as this is the greatest intercontinental meeting uh, heaven and earth uh, as billions of spirits are here together with you pray together with us and global pray chain where, where we invite all eight billion plus people on the earth from simple people to presidents to came right here right now and pray together and by this we are building uh, global peace by 27 just like this every day every hour every second Peace 2024, 25, 26, 27. So stay till then to receive full blessing. Subscribe the channel and share this message to billions. Um, turn on suggestions playlist and uh, sanctify your place 24 per 7. So join our program. Right now we will have the most powerful um, worship of God, the, uh, the song, music uh, to worship God. And then we will have... Um, um the greatest uh, truth teaching that is teaching just heaven and earth, just everything about human beings why till now wasn't possible to make a world of peace and how it will be done and how it was already done and how you could do it in your life and your family community kind of the world and how jesus could save you right now right here uh, this will be the presentation then we'll go with the quotes and with the concrete uh, uh, greatest uh, global prey chain where their miracles are, where the biggest uh, prophets, archbishops, uh, believers, and even non believers with the science came and pray for you. And where you also could join daily, he online or offline at 7 pm, one minute, pray for peace and global prey chain. All people from simple people to presidents rejoice it together. And let me go with the powerful music sing along. As you see in the Bible, there is a, there is a great um, revelation about the Messiah and coming, coming in the East. So here we are with the powerful um, song about most powerful music.
Ok, 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 so powerful uh, uh, music, let me go with the presentation. Today is about Christology and uh, many, basically many believers are divided between themselves about this point. So let me clarify from the religious, scientific, historical, psychologists, uh, all other uh, researchers, how it is for real and how to solve this problem. Okay, let me go. Uh, rejoice. Presentation. Welcome back to the Path to Happiness. I'm your host, Dr. Tyler Hendricks. In our last session, we learned that we can have the divine value of Christ if we connect to Jesus, who came as the new Adam to give rebirth to humankind. As we become aware of our original value and follow Jesus' way of faith, we can fulfill the purpose of creation. But how does this happen? Christians have been baptized and taken communion for 2,000 years, but still we're waiting for something more, called the second coming. Jesus shed his blood for me, but I still have sin. Who's going to figure this out? This is what Reverend Moon teaches about, and we're going to get into that now. The word Messiah in, ver in Hebrew was a verb, meaning to anoint with oil. It evolved into the one who was anointed with oil. One Jewish tradition was a ritual of pouring oil to signify blessedness or God's choosing that person for a special mission. In the later days, in addition to the king, they also anointed high priests and heads of clans. To be, to be the Messiah, the, the means to be the anointed one. So the Messiah was a great priest, a ruler, or a king. Centuries later, the one who was anointed with oil transformed into a savior who would overcome Satan and judge the living and the dead. How did, how did this transformation of Jewish faith happen? The Babylonian Empire destroyed the temple in Jerusalem and exiled the Jews to Babylon. And 200 years later, the Jews, the uh, Persian king, Cyrus, destroyed the Babylonian Empire, brought the Jews into Persia, and allowed the Jews freedom of worship and eventually to go back to Palestine and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. During this period, the expectation of the Messiah grew. At this time, influenced by the Persian religion, Zoroastrianism, the meaning of the word and the meaning of the mission mission of Jesus and our relationship with him. First of all, from the point of view of our relationship with God as fallen people, we lost the rights and benefits of God's children due to the fall. We were downgraded to being like orphans. Satan infected their love, and we were born from that false love, speaking of Adam and Eve, who built a relationship with Satan. So we are plagued with selfish desires, and in Jesus' words, we're children of Lucifer, an angel. Now, angels are servants, so we end up being servants of servants. We therefore are in a midway position between God and Satan, a position where we worship both God and Satan. We have true love and false love within us. That's the contradiction, that's the struggle. And it's endless. And that leads to the next point. Instead of mind and body being harmonious, 
The two struggle and conflict. Our conscience is in conflict with our instinctual physical mind. We became divided between good and evil. The spirit should rule the physical body, but it came under the control of the physical body. At the same time, the harmonious reciprocity between man and woman was destroyed. The struggle within each person cripples our ability to love as husband and wife. And the conflict between man and woman, our inability to relate centered on God, has terrible social repercussions. The third result of the fall is that from the standpoint of the principled growing period, Adam and Eve fell around age 16, the top of the growth stage toward maturity. They left the realm of principle and became primitive cave dwellers, suffering in a savage state of existence, a world ruled by tooth and claw, where the creation itself was chained in suffering. Fourth, spiritually and physically, we fell into a world of total ignorance. We lost our awareness of God's existence, and even more so, our awareness of God's heart and His plan. We were dominated by the evil spirit world and became completely ignorant about the universe and the creation around us. Fifth, we became stained with original sin and guilt. We adopted a selfish and a vicious character, trying to dominate each other out of fear and lust. As generations passed, we inherited the results of our parents and going all the way back to the fall and to Cain and Abel, as well as the collective sin of our tribe or the kingdom that we were a part of. Sixth, the fall created a set of illicit relationships. The four position foundation became centered on Satan. So it went beyond the personal fall to the fall of the family, the tribe, and the larger collectives. This made it possible for Satan to gain ownership of the entire world and to dominate hell on earth as if it is the natural way things are. This is why Jesus identified Satan as the ruler of this world. We need to transform ourselves from Satan's children to God's children. We need to rid ourselves of sin and wash away the guilt of sin. We need to be awakened and find wisdom that will move us from ignorance to knowledge. We need to practice and follow the principle of restoration and restore ourselves to the point that we reached before the fall and then accomplish the three great blessings and create heaven on earth and live eternally in heaven in the spirit world. This is the ideal. This is the vision that Christ gives to us. Now, if Adam was our false parent, Jesus was sent to be the true parent, to give rebirth to fallen human beings. Jesus came as a savior to rescue human beings. Jesus came as the teacher to awaken us who are lost in the darkness of spiritual and physical ignorance by his words and to teach us God's heart and God's plan. He came as the true owner and king to restore this world of hell into the original world of creation. This is who Jesus is. When we consider Jesus to be a true parent, it means that he is the father who came to give us rebirth. If Adam and Eve had fulfilled the purpose of creation, they were humankind, and their children were God, and their descendants would have been born physically and spiritually true. But they fell spiritually and physically, and their children inherited this separation from God, 
both spiritual and physical. Now, in John chapter 3, Jesus said to Nicodemus that if we are not born a second time, we will not be able to set foot in God's kingdom. So we need a new birth. But parents with original sin cannot give new birth, cannot create sinless children. We need sinless parents. Where do they come from? Sinless parents directly descend from heaven. Jesus said, the Son of Man came from heaven. Jesus is such a father. He was one with God physically as well as spiritually. Hence, Jesus is the one who came to give us rebirth spiritually and physically as a true father. But there's something missing from that picture. We all know that a father alone cannot give birth. A true mother is also needed. Jesus was supposed to find the one who came to be the true mother and marry her with God's full and complete blessing. And they would unite as one flesh, spiritually and physically, and together with her become true parents. But Jesus went to the cross with no bride. He resurrected and he stayed with the disciples for 40 days and he ascended to the Father and then the bride appeared from God. Who was that bride? The Holy Spirit. And who are their children? The reborn believers. The true Father is Jesus and the true Mother's position is fulfilled by the Holy Spirit who gives new life to the children through the Holy Mother Church. The church, according to Paul, is the Jerusalem above our mother. Now, in Revelation, the new Jerusalem, the Jerusalem above, comes down from heaven as what? As a bride. Christians are reborn when they come to Jesus through the bride, through the Holy Spirit. In the realm of the fall, our value is, as my father put it, that of an ant. But God can change that. We can be reborn through Jesus, who is the true parent, true teacher, and true king, and the Holy Spirit. We will become a child of goodness, free from original sin. And then we will develop our spirit and be restored to the status of Jesus after having fulfilled the purpose of creation. As Paul said, we don't know what is going to come, but we know one thing, we will be like him. The mission of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, as I've explained, is to restore us. The teaching called the Trinity, which explains the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, has actually confused and divided Christians for thousands of years. But when we know the principle, it's easy to understand. In order to fulfill the purpose of creation, Adam and Eve have to be interdependent partners in reciprocal relationship centered on God. They need to have a reciprocal give and take and with each other and as an integrated body in the four position foundation centered on God become a trinity with God. Adam and Eve become one centered on God. This is the Trinity, God, God's Son, and God's Daughter, who are co-equal expressions of God's Logos. One love in three persons, three persons, one in love. Originally, God's purpose in creating Adam and Eve was to establish them as the true parents of humankind in the four position foundation centered on God. Thus, God's purpose of creation started by building the Trinity. But since they fell, Adam and Eve built a Trinity 
and a four-position foundation, but not centered on God, centered on Satan. Then the providence led to Christ and the Holy Spirit rebuilding the Trinity. And we call that a spiritual Trinity of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who forgive us and restore us as our spiritual true parents. It makes sense that Jesus will come again to form a substantial physical trinity for physical salvation centered on God and become a true parent both in spirit and flesh to restore us, to give us rebirth both spiritually and physically. That means we need to recognize the returning Jesus and his bride and receive rebirth through them. Reverend and Mrs. Moon explain the biblical teaching about engrafting the branch of the Messiah into us, not as individuals this time, but as couples in the holy marriage blessing. The fall took place as a couple, spiritually and physically, and it is restored as a couple, spiritually and physically, bestowing this of Reverend and Mrs. Moon, created by God, called by Jesus, led by the Holy Spirit, and taught by the Bible. Can I just sign up? Actually, there are simple, principled steps we can take. Where do we learn them? In the Bible. God began his work to bring this about a long time ago, right in Adam's family. And they are explained throughout the Holy Scriptures. So our next session will introduce the principles of restoration, the principles of preparation to receive the true parents, the Messiah, and ultimately the holy marriage blessing, which is the path to happiness. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Okay, 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 guys. So powerful presentation. Let me go quickly with the words of God from the Messiah's coming. Uh, you know, Messiah bring thousands of volumes of his teaching directly from God. So from the scripture of peace, we will read today. Uh, let me read together. Peace has to do with relationships and even state can be realized only when two people harmonize with each other an individual alone cannot realize it two, two people can be happy when they are on an equal footing that please them both when we speak of freedom we realize that there is no freedom without love love itself is boundless freedom if you roll with love, you can be proud of being absolute about. Okay, this was uh, quotes uh, for today. So powerful quotes. Uh, let me go now with the um, uh, Messiah Second Coming. Uh, uh, global prayer chain where everyone will rejoice. So let me go to Kenya and invite our brother the greatest archbishop john he is working there uh, with the 200 churches uniting body of christ to finish uh, a global marathon of the messiah second coming and finish ultimate global peace by 27. so let's rejoice together let's invite uh, archbishop john please turn on your camera and microphone and say the most powerful prayer dear uh, archbishop john now is your turn to say the world to the world uh, and also to speak with God, to ask and will be given. Happy welcome, uh, John.
Rest pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. Lord, we pray today to grant us peace and love. Father, show us and teach us to love one another. I pray for our life to live like brothers and sisters within your love. Lord, we know we know that we shall succeed and overcome all the problems through your love. Father, I pray for peace 2027, 2026, 2025. Grant us peace, grant us wisdom and worthy. Father, I pray for all nation, for the whole world. Grant grant us peace. Let our leaders guide us, guide us with your wisdom. I pray for peace in our children because we want our children to grow but not to die. I stop and I command the Satan of planting in our nation, in the world, where the country has no peace. Lord, send your angel to go and make a peace to that one, to that nation. Lord, we pray for love in the whole world. We pray for peace in the whole world. Lord, I remember all of us and I pray for all who are in this program. Bring for peace. Lord, bless them. Lord, grant them love and peace into their family. Father, also I cannot forget to pray for my brother, Nicholas Sipila, our president, to organize us into this program so that we may come together and say a word of a word of you father into the nation father i pray with those few want knowing that you are with us and you will continue to be with us and those those ones which i did not mention father i know you will reveal to us because we are your children and i pray in mighty jesus name Aju, Aju, Aju. Amen, amen, amen. Aju and amen. Thank you very much, dear Archivision John. So powerful prayer from Kenya. We pray for you, for your country, continent, uh, for global. Uh, let me go uh, to the Uganda and invite Ambassador uh, Stefan. He is taking care of hundreds of children there and uh, also orphans and the uh, youth uh, teach them uh, agriculture and uh, entrepreneurship for god and god's words and raising talents just everything building model peace community awarding new peace ambassador happy welcome Stephen. please pray most powerful prayer for peace and love today Thank you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the love you have created us with. And we pray for unity and love, especially for our enemies. You said, love your enemy. Lord, we dedicate our enemies, our conflicts, which is within ourselves, that tear us apart. The dark part of humanity that leads them to un love lord we surrender this dark part in your present today and all those who are angry of one another renew their heart restore them again teach them your way may they become friends as you have touched the life of soul and they became a great preacher as Paul 
Lord, you rename him to be Paul, the little one who can preach your word. May all day become ambassador of your peace, preaching every day, every night, as you call us before your altar today to pray for them so that tomorrow together we can join with the angels and saints to praise you and to glorify your name, to renew the world, to renew the earth, to live in peace as in heaven. You taught us, our Father, that everything should be hallowed be your name. May your name be glorified forever and ever in our life. We ask all this through the intercession of our Mother Mary, all the saints and the angels through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. It's so good, the powerful prayer for love today from the Uganda. Uh, let me go uh, to um, Prophet Paul. Prophet Paul predicted a few months ago a use marathon in his country and it came last month uh, anyhow there is uh, still a lot to do but uh, happy welcome dear uh, Arch uh, dear uh, uh, prophet paul please say you powerful prayer for peace and love and new direction how god inspire you as, as you prof prophesize that god supposed to came to in every parliament and every presidency <laughs> just like that let you powerful prayers uh, go across the universe happy welcome dear paul turn on your camera and microphone and say most powerful prayer for peace and love today uh thank you very much uh, my brother prophet nicole uh we have had a, a very restless moment you know we prophesied there will be marathon and uh, we have seen marathon but in this case uh, many young people went into the streets uh, with a lot of uh, uh, rushing here with the police and uh, we didn't want that kind of marathon but uh, eventually it ended up becoming marathon in all countries in Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, Venezuela uh, and, and many parts. So we are going to pray for peace in, in all countries this month of August which has just begun that uh, we shall be able to experience change as Kenya, we have seen um, now things are coming back. We have had a restless time. Let's pray. Father, we thank you this day. First of all, we are praying for our prophet, Nicole, Nikolai, who has been very enthusiastic to prepare Global for Peace 2027. As we continue to pray for Peace 2024, Father, we pray for peace in Africa. We pray for peace in Asia. We pray for peace in India. We pray for peace in Europe. We pray for peace in America and all continents of this world. Father, we refuse every attack of the enemy in the government, governments and the parliaments in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have seen devil destroy, and especially the parliament of Kenya, and everything was left here in disorganized way. Mayhems were realized police officers rushing up and down. We pray also for the nation of Haiti, where we have seen our police and the police of, uh, uh, of Haiti bringing calm, calmness in the, in, the, in the Haiti country. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the unity between America and, uh, uh, and the Ukraine and, the, and the Russia. We pray for that joint, uh, we, that we may have peace between Russia and the Ukraine. We pray for Israel, we pray for uh, uh, Iran, we pray against every attack of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, we continue to pray for the leadership in Africa. We pray for our Archbishop Eugene Kavune and all what he's going through, Almighty Father. Uphold him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that Almighty Redeemer Savior, the destination of, uh, of this uh, GPP net uh, will be glorious though we begin it with a lot of hardships and confusion but we know the end will be glorious in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray for all the clergy we pray for pastors we pray for reverend fathers we pray for sheikh and imam we pray for uh, apostles like bishops uh, prophets who are working very hard and evangelists who are working to make sure that the gospel is spread across all the global we pray that almighty father may you give them a lot of peace in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray almighty redeemer father that um, the gbp net will become the editime time revamp for anchor that will lead us into your coming as the messiah is coming back as we have been running from our, our our happy tv we thank you king of glory because you are going to start with all of us as we continue as readers even as you made me to become resource mobilizer and without knowing the formulas to use lord we pray for resources to come in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray almighty father for the coming of our president gb of gbp net in africa in kenya the month of september we pray for breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Almighty Father, for your peace and for your favor to dwell upon all of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we believe in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. So powerful prayer, dear prophet Paul. So good to, to hear from you. So powerful prayer across the globe and universe. Uh, let me go further with peace prayers and invite Kaunda uh, to say a powerful prayer for peace. Uh, dear Kaunda Motolo, please turn on your microphone and camera and say most powerful prayer for peace and love today. We pray. Happy welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. Almighty Father in heaven, I, I pray this prayer so that how you have to lead us. I know without you there is nothing we can do. We rely upon you, my Lord, so that whatever we are taking this time should be taken before you, our Lord. I pray peace in my country, in other countries. Uh, there must be no wars, peace and harmony. My, my Lord, you have to hear our prayers. We, you know. We have got our head who is the president nicole nicole i take i lift him upon you my lord so that you have to give him knowledge uh give him strength no diseases and so on and so forth i beg you my lord so that you have to give him a longer life so that whatsoever we are doing here uh should take uh, a long time should take quite a long time so that no any stoppages in the name of jesus i rebuke uh, every satanic issues i rebuke every evil spirits so that uh we have to live harmony we have to live peacefully in our countries and we have to love one another so that we have to fulfill uh whatsoever our president nicole is uh, willing may you hear my prayer May you uh, let each and everyone who is in this platform uh, not feel sick in the name of Jesus. I rebuke diseases. I rebuke a tardiness. I rebuke feeling poor in the name of Jesus. May you lead us all in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So powerful prayer, dear um, Kaunda. Happy welcome. So let me go quickly to and invite John the Baptist to say the most powerful prayer for peace and love today. Happy welcome, John the Baptist. Please turn on your microphone and uh, say most powerful prayer for peace uh, and love. There is a microphone below. Just turn on the red button. 
turn on microphone and say a powerful prayer for peace. John the Baptist, happy welcome. Okay, maybe he have difficulties with the internet. Uh, let's invite Florence Mutanje. Uh, Florence, happy welcome. Please uh, turn on your microphone and say most powerful prayer for peace and love. We want to hear uh, uh, the <laughs> mother heart of God. <laughs> happy welcome. Hello. Hello. Can you? Yes. We yes, can we can hear you brilliantly. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I come in the throne of mercy to pray for the peace that giveth, O oh my master. I thank you because, Lord, where there is peace, there is hope and joy. I praise your holy name for the things that you do are beyond our understanding, God. I pray for entire community, the Lord Almighty, peace and joy will prevail, Almighty Redeemer. We thank you for the Father that you have taken us. We thank you for your grace, O oh Master Redeemer. We thank you for your mighty awareness of life. And now, God in heaven, you created us for your own purpose and for your own image. We pray for all the countries. We pray for the peace to prevail in every country. We remember our readers in a mighty Redeemer way. The Lord Almighty may bring solidarity for us to stand together in peace. And Father, we know that when we have peace prevailing, we shall be able to conquer. We shall be able to preach your word. We shall be able to pray in harmony. We shall be able to build the body of Christ in a wider way, O oh God. We pray for all things to be possible. We pray for your people and their families, O oh God. We pray for your children whenever they are mighty redeemer. We thank you and we praise you because you created each one of us for a reason. Thank you for the unity that we are having together to pray for this peace. Thank you for your goodness, Master Redeemer. Thank you that you are taking care of us and uniting us for a reason and for a purpose. And now we call upon you, God, as unity of the body of Christ that you ruin uh, rule our lives, that God, out of calling you, we shall be able to address the issues that are affecting us not to have peace. We worship you, God. We give you praise. We pray for them that are not able to even remember themselves because of the troubles that they are passing in this life. We pray for our children, God, those who are in trouble, Jehovah Jireh. And we pray that your masses will prevail in our lives, so oh God. We thank you for this church without war, that it is through the peace that you are giving us, God, we shall be able to listen together. Father, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we give you. We call you Abba, Father, because you are God. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing us. Thank you, Jesus, for clothing us with your righteousness. Equip us more and more from every continent. Equip us more and more, God, with all the resources to preach your peace, O oh God. We thank you and we praise you. Thank you for this connection, God. Thank you for your greatness, Master Redeemer. Thank you that you are holding us in totality. We worship you, God. We give you praise. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, amen, amen. So powerful prayer for friends. So good to hear from you. So good to hear from this uh, mother, sisters, uh, um, part of uh, humanity. And uh, now as we are uh, moving to woman age, and family age, there's the most important to to pray about the Messiah's coming on God's son and God's daughter that uh, they build already heavenly kingdom 12 years. So happy welcome. Let's inherit this heavenly kingdom in our life, in our family, community, country, and the world. So uh, please join my prayer too. I also want to bless you with the greatest powerful prayer from my side. So uh, join me in prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, thank you so very much for this concrete day, this concrete time. This is unforgettable, just just not uh, so serious uh, moment as life and death or uh, 
uh, wars, but is uh, uh, more powerful than wars is peace building uh, global prey chain that bring miracles to every human life. Dear Heavenly Parents, please lead us. Lead us every day, every hour, every second. Let we unite together with God and receive from God 95% of the missing Omni love, omni power, omni abundance and prosperity. Just everything, every human life want to uh, receive. Dear Heavenly Parents, we understand that uh, as we live in Messiah's and coming time, uh, the end of the days is right now in this concrete time and the Messiah bring already is sent by you, only begotten son, only begotten daughters. Jesus came second time and they they organized the marriage of the Lamb and it is done and this is global marathon of the Messiah's and coming is shining on the day of like light from the east as was prophesied dear heavenly parent help us all the beyond past people on there especially uh, young people generation z they received this revelation from god to build substantial peace ultimate global peace is so urgent but uh, unfortunately many don't understand it and even uh, the presidents don't understand this concrete correctly and they they understand that they're supposed to give life for to build the kingdom and build their peace but uh, unfortunately, they they dump use this life for the wars, strikes, and real revolutions. There is no any time uh, as we see in the history. We analyze the history from all our progenitors. Uh, as scientists find out that uh, all human beings came from one woman. All colors uh, just have the same genome from one woman. So we understand that we came all from Adam and Eve that was um, um, born by God, uh, created by God. So here we are, God's children, we are one global family and let we unite together and understand this prophecy of God and this global Pentecost that we are supposed to build substantial peace, brother, sisters, uh, um, relationship uh, and uh, build strong families, um, strong communities uh, and strong countries and strong world and even strong spiritual and physical world that nothing will destroy. And as a... Uh, came this prophecy that this uh, world peace even more powerful than wars is destroying all the wars and all the revolutions and is building substantial peace right now we don't need to wait another 2000 years messiahs and coming uh, uh, give us direction that all human beings and all human beings understand that uh, by uh, 2027 world peace supposed to be done in every country in every corner of the world in every uh, community in every family in every human life peace is done already with the messiah and coming just we supposed to inherit it in our life and our family community country the world uh, help us to inherit it and this is our inheritance we are meeting daily and building substantial peace despite all of these difficulties as historically believers was uh, working to build uh, uh, heavenly kingdom world of peace uh, uh, around them was a lot of worse as it is today uh, the, um, um, uh, those militaries uh, allow themselves to 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 make worse and uh, make suicide by killing their brothers uh, around dear heavenly parents we pray for them let them came this uh, uh, greatest um, uh, vision and dreams that was prophesied in the scripture everyone supposed to be resurrected and receive a salvation there is no anyone as we see in presentation that uh, they uh, are in kingdom yet just messiah second coming came and built the kingdom we just need to inherit it right now right here in this concrete time and this concrete moment dear heavenly parent lead us just lead us and give this revelation and visions, especially for those in power. One percent of population that um, uh, took ninety-nine percent of wealth and power in every country, they receive this um, power and money and those stars who the fame. They receive all of this with one reason, just one, to receive the Messiah second coming and uh, build substantial world of peace by 2027 thus we are building world of peace model peace communities every day we're already 1087 meeting a row just we meet every day we pray for for peace we go with the peace ambassador award uh, and awarding uh, 
simple people up to presidents to build substantial peace. Uh, we, uh, as uh, we understand from psychology, if we give uh, for the for people um, uh, the, the knife, they cut something. If you give to the people book, they read it. But if you give the people the gun, they are shouting, uh, fight and shout around. But uh, we are giving truth to the people and uh, give them this concrete uh, resurrection and this uh, global prayer chain. Please lead us, lead us to overcome all the difficulties, all the barriers, unite uh, with the Messiah and coming and find the prepared people and John the Baptist mission that was prepared by God to receive Messiah and coming. We pray for all of them, all of them who was at our meetings, priests, bishops, archbishops, and even cardinals and popes, uh, and uh, all other uh, presidents and prime ministers, uh, billionaires and stars in every country, uh, they received these blessings just for what reason to win the Messiah and coming and finish building kingdom by 2027. And even the Messiah inspires us the biggest blessing for all youth, for all generations that they could receive it, the blessing by 13th of April 2020. Fifth, when where the Chonil sanctum will be open and reign across the whole globe and in the spiritual world once and forever, and the reference of God without any interest of sin, just heavenly kingdom uh, of true love, world of true love that all our ancestors was trying to 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 uh, to build it, and what we supposed to build it and purify the earth from all of this. Uh, uh, all of this um, um, ecological uh, problems uh, and purify uh, the the earth and also purify human minds. Please lead us every day, every every second, and accelerate every day, every second. Dear Heavenly Parent, as we came right now, right here, to pray for the all the past people on the earth, we invite them from the simple people to presidents to join hands together and they build some social peace right now right here in this concrete time this concrete moment there is no time to waste so i pray hear my you son nikolai uh, and i don't come alone uh, i pray for representative of humanity that they came here right now and dedicate this uh, greatest time and we pray for them for the greatest intensive right here just one hour and rejoice with god let them rejoice let them rejoice and their life and their family, community, country, world with true love of God. Let them really, this global Pentecost, give them to preach uh, and rejoice in uh, languages and all of this fire, uh, fire up all their problems. I pray for Kaunda, I pray for uh, Prophet P Paul, uh, for Archbishop John in Kenya, uh, for um, Stephen in Uganda, Florence, um, uh, for brothers and sisters, and um, um asia africa america and i'm in europe dear heavenly parent we unite uh, all countries on all continent and and billions of spirits from spiritual they come right here right now to build some special peace dear heavenly parent uh, help us help us to make the next step help us to um, clarify what is our uh, next step and how to break through really advance your providence we see how difficult it was till now, but now even is more powerful God's advancing providence and just uh, destroy all the wars and build some type of peace that is more powerful through love of God. Dear Heavenly Parent, help us to uh, reach you uh, goals of restoring the uh, earth. And we ask uh, for the direct guidance of God, direct guidance of the uh, modern science and the direct uh, um, guidance from the Messiah and coming, only God's Son, only God and Daughter, true Father and true Mother, substantiation of the Holy Spirit that is fire up the earth with the global Pentecost. Dear Heavenly Parent, please help us to share this uh, message to billions, witness uh, brothers and sisters from simple people to presidents, uh, just to billions. Please help us and let we unite together and overcome all the obstacles together. Now is this uh, possible and we pray for you. Please help all of us to raise substantial funds to move your providence. Dear Heavenly Parent, I came and bring this short report that we overcome not just fear of war, 
but all the fears that uh, Satan infiltrate in human mind, even to the presidents with the nuclear weapons, they are fear of all of these crazy things, and therefore they fight with each other with sanctions and wars. Help them and liberate them. I came to bring this short report as a pure offering, and all this day, and all this week, and for the uh, day ahead, for tomorrow, for week ahead, and for months ahead, and for years ahead, uh, just to establish the heavenly kingdom and pass the pure, clean earth to all our descendants for billions and for all generations ahead. I bring this short report, and my name is Nikolai Kirpalis and my family. Adieu, 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 adieu. Amen, brothers and sisters. So good to rejoice together. I pray for you 24 per 7. Yeah, came tomorrow, same time, same place, in Global Prayer Chain. Invite your friends and family up to presidents. Everyone, let them come and re uh, receive the same blessing. Came on time to receive the greatest blessing. Meet God at the same time every day in direct presence of God. Yeah, thank you very much, amen. brother and sister. So good to be together. Hey, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Kaunda, Paul, uh, Stephen, you. and Florence. <laughs> Yes, wow. yes. Yeah. So good to be together. Yeah, God is great, my brothers and sisters. Uh, 